I've never spent a Christmas in cold snowy weather. I live in the southwest and it's so dry that even when it's nippy, you're sweating from the sun on your face and your knuckles get chapped. Hogwarts is a prime location for me though. Harry Potter has it made. It's basically Christmas all year round. Before you say no it's not, well obviously I know that. All you have to have is the Christmas spirit. Harry has these things. It boils down to hope. The hope that things will turn out for the best and family that surrounds you. At Hogwarts, that sense of being in your house is example number one. Gryffindor! Your house is your family for the time you're in the castle. And personally, I'm Slytherin, and I'm really proud of that. Sure, they get a bad rap, but I think Not their traits Slytherin. are cool, and everyone should be happy to be in the house they're in, even if it's Hufflepuff. Because they're honestly amazing in their own special way, especially Cedric. I think he's really cool. Harry has his two best friends, Ron and Hermione. They're more like family, really. It's the most family he's ever had. And they like him for him, not just because he's the boy that lives. In the Philosopher's Stone, we see Harry's first real Christmas with Ron at the Gryffindor common room, where he gets his first present ever from Dumbledore, an invisibility cloak. He spends his time in the castle all winter with his best friends, and I don't know what's more the season than that. Hagrid even chops them down a tree to decorate. The rest of the time, when it isn't Christmas, I get that same feeling because he's usually at the Weasleys. And I'd say that they are his adopted family, and he gets to spend it laughing and Without eating. Who, Unlike when here. he's at the Dursleys and he's stuffed in a broom closet. Eating is an essential part of the holidays, isn't it? Let the feast begin. The Hogwarts dining hall is full of food and drink, and you could spend hours in there. One of my favorite places in the story is Hogsmeade. For the winter break, the students, when they're old enough, they get to go down to the little town and hang out. It's a snowy town lined with shops and filled with people. I could just imagine going down there to get some butterbeer. Butterbeer, it's magnificent, but I haven't had any in real life. I could just imagine what it tastes like on a cold winter day with some of my friends. They all love Harry Potter a fair bit as well, so it'd be fun. And it especially sucks that I can't even do these things in that realm of possibility because things are shut down and the virus is at an all-time high. But can we for a second just admire the cringe fest? Maybe there's too much eating done in the movie. One of my favorite locations in the Wizarding World is Godric's Hollow. It's so pretty in Deathly Hollows Part 1, which honestly I like better than Part 2. But this is the place where Harry's born, and it's a little town that they visit on Christmas Eve, and the atmosphere is immaculate. This is also where many of Harry's family is buried, so there are familial ties to the main character, and that really gets to the viewers that this place is special. They have the iconic gothic buildings whose roofs are pointed, and the exterior is dark wood, with snow lying all around. As you can tell, I'm desperate to get out of the desert and go up east where I can have the Hollywood style Christmas of my dreams. With the colder weather comes the layering of clothes and knit sweaters, and I love that layered feeling with a ton of fabric on top of you. Ron gets his knitted iconic R sweater from his mother on Christmas morning, and everyone has these real nifty robes and sweaters that they wear year round, so it must be super cold up there. Well, it's England, so I guess it's expected. I wanted one of the sweaters, but I've only seen real tacky ones. Maybe I haven't looked correctly, I'm not sure, but you get the idea of this Christmas version of Harry Potter I've conjured up. You can go through some of the movies and get a better feeling of what I'm talking about, but for now I hope you get what I'm trying to say. I'll be making a Christmas video every week, just like I did for Halloween, because these are the two holidays, you know, that are really in competition for my love. They're like neck and neck. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you like and subscribe. And last month I only posted one video for Thanksgiving, but it's still of the season, so if you'd be so kind as to watch that, I'd appreciate it. I've also been making edits on Instagram daily, so if you'd like to follow me over there, they're quick and I think they're pretty good. So please stay safe and healthy this month, and I'll see you later.